to avoid the whammy as they play the most exciting game of their lives. From Television City in Hollywood, it's time to press your luck. Thank you, Rod, and welcome to another edition of Presidential Press Your Luck, the show where three historical figures get to play for thousands of dollars in prizes that are just as realistic as their campaign promises. Today's players were selected at random from our pool of presidents, and they are James Monroe, Theodore Roosevelt, and Rutherford Hayes. The president who was in the lead at the end of this round gets a play last in the final round because that's the spot with the biggest advantage. We played a spin round off the air and Rutherford B. Hayes, you have five spins. James Monroe, you have eight spins. And Teddy Roosevelt, you got nine spins. You start this player with the least amount of spins. Rutherford, that's you. Five. Let's roll the board. $1,500 for first spin. What's your pleasure? How'd you like your next one? I'm gonna go for it. Stop. Stop Ooh, it out. Man. That's not gonna help. But the whammy did leave you with three spins. What are you gonna do? Big bucks. Stop at seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty, two spins to go. I'm gonna go for it. Stop. Not a good thing. Yeah, three whammies can be kind of dangerous. How are you going to do it? What's your pleasure? I'm going to go for it. Taking a chance. You're pressing your luck. Stop! Stop at Mexico City! Good trip. 3200 bucks. Now we go on to James Monroe. Eight spins, no money. Let's roll the board for you. Get to keep the spin, you're still in second place. Another eight hundred fifteen fifty seven spins. What are you gonna do? $2,500. Another good hit. You're now in first place by about $860. Six spins. Should you decide to pass them, they go to Hayes. Stop at $600. $600 more brings you to $4,650. $1,450 to lose. Five spins. That brings you all to six thousand five hundred fifty four spins. Stop at Miami. A great place to spend the Fourth of July weekend. Eleven grand. Big B, what do you want to do? I'm going to uh, pass. You pass, they go to Rutherford. Three spins, you must take them all. Give it a go. Stop at twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Twelve fifty, you're now up to forty four fifty. Two spins you have to take. Keep it going. Stop at five hundred dollars. 
One more, it's all yours. No! And Ben summed it up right there, didn't he? Well, at least there's no more spins you gotta take. We'll see what happens next round. Okay, Teddy, your turn. Nine spins. Nice place to take a vacation. Twenty-five hundred bucks. You still got a long way to go. Eight spins. Here we go. Stop at the Caribbean cruise. Well, you are a traveling man in your old days, and you still are now. Fifty forty-one behind. You got sixty-five fifty-eight. Seven spins. Well, easy come, easy go. You still, however, have six spins. What do you want to do? You're in better shape already. Twenty-nine ninety-five, and you still have five spins. If you pass it, they go to Monroe. Here we go. Stop. Stop at two thousand dollars. Bringing you up to forty-nine ninety-five. Four spins. American is Let apple pie, but the, third whammy in round one. the whammy was not. You're in the same predicament Hayes was in. You had two, two whammies, three spins. What do you want to do? Here we go. go on anyway. Stop. Yes, that actually is part of America. It just hasn't become a state yet. What's your pleasure? He's passing them over. You don't want any part, part of that third whammy. Two spins you gotta take Monroe. Here they come. One more you gotta take and then you get safe passage to round three, two. And you did it with another 1900, bringing your final score to 15,359. 15,399 for James Monroe, 45, 56 for Teddy Roosevelt, and nothing for Hayes. We got a lot more coming, so we'll be right back right after this. <laughs> 